think that is? Well, for, for me, this is an example of, of his surreal imagination being in, in debate with, with his kind of connection to the ordinary world. Because if you play the next bit, yum! There you can find lots of pieces by Haydn that sound just like that. Mm. But there are not too many pieces by the earlier composers or by the earlier Beethoven that go... Mm. Yeah. yeah, this almost is like, like there's no there there is no longer uh, the, the the mechanical passage of time that, mm. that we we associate with music. With classical music has to be a TikTok kind of thing, but you know that in itself is is an artificial invention of human beings. That's not the way time works in, in the universe. Mm. It's, it's not even the way that time that time works on Earth. You know, the t mm. time passes relative. Relatively quicker or less quick, depending on whether you are at the seashore versus the the mountain top. Mm. So we're not just talking about like ideas of uh, you know, traveling at the speed of light through space or anything. Mm. So when when Beethoven does this, he's he's connecting to to the relativity of time. You can take that passage as soon as you play this. Da, 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 da. You just take that out of context and play it for somebody, and and they might think it was Boulez or you know. Yeah. It's it's twentieth century music. He's got a, He's having a vision of the future. Mm. But again, it's it's in it's it's in debate with the reality mm. with his own time. He's always in debate. He's always arguing with with himself or with someone else. And that, that that's part of the, the, the democratic spirit that, that, that drives him. Mm. And that's part of the individualism that, that, that continues to this day, mm. where, where everyone you know, has a story to tell. What is the conflict between head and heart? Besides, I mean, obvi it's obvious. Well, I think Schindler, said, Schindler said that, right? Um, we well, said that think, Beethoven said that. He said yeah. that Beethoven said that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think Beethoven is trying to speak Schindler's language, and and is is trying to use words that Schindler might understand. Mm. And of course, it's words that we can all understand. We all associate the head with relatively, you know, dry intellectual thought, and mm. the heart, so-called heart. Of course, it's just another part of the brain, right? But the so-called heart is is supposed to be emotion. Right, mm. but we're talking about the, the the two hemispheres of the brain. We're talking about the the, the built-in duality of the human being in this life. Mm. That Beethoven is not interested in transcending. Really, he's interested in exploring how they 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 battle each other. It's also a very uh, interesting, much before his time, curiosity about the way the the human psyche works and mental illness. And, and I think he's bringing mental illness very much into, into his work, that that's, that that's part of his experience, that's part of his music, almost like Schumann in, in the sense that it is exploring, in Schumann's case, it was schizophrenia. The Schumann sound world is, is a beauty, it's a thing of beauty. Mm. But Beethoven is not constrained by that, mm. you know? He's... <laughs> 